So last night at the school business uh, meet, um, event, I had a chat with a parent who was struggling to feed her two small children with meal times going into two hours trying to get them to eat a certain food. So very stressful and very hard. This is a common issue with parents. Um, and it reminded me of Ellen Satter's Division of Responsibility. I just put a diagram in my previous post explaining it and a link to her website. So the parent's job is what, when and where to feed the kids. Uh, so that would be the importance of having regular meals and snacks. Uh, where, so probably the best place if you can is at the dinner table. And what, so whatever you want to cook or offer at that meal or snack. And the kid's responsibility is what they eat in line with their preferences. And remember, preferences are very fluid. They change over time. So bear that in mind and be compassionate with that. And how much they eat. And this is again hard as a parent, but kids are born natural intuitive eaters. They very much live in line with eating in regards when they're hungry and they'll often ask to eat. But by, by having regular meals and snacks, that helps to kind of get them in a routine and kids like routines so they would naturally have a hunger before their meal if they're having a routine. So you don't want them grazing too much in between meals. So they come to the dinner table hungry and ready to eat. And also kids have a natural ability of stopping when they've had enough. They kind of know that they're satisfied and they'll, you'll often hear kids say, oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm full now. And you have to kind of trust that. So don't pressure them too much to clean their plate. Trust them. And the amount they eat will fluctuate depending on the meal and the day and how they're feeling. So you may feel like, oh my goodness, they hardly eat anything and they're not gonna grow and they're gonna drop off the growth chart. But trust the process. If you look over a whole week or a whole month, some meals they'll eat really well because they're feeling really hungry. Maybe they'll just pick at the next meal. But by and large, it sorts itself out and they grow fine along the curve, which is uh, the curve which is right for them. So you kind of have to trust it. And you also want to have a sense of calm around meal times. It should be an enjoyable experience. So free of TV and distractions, sitting down and talking about your day and just kind of making it an enjoyable experience. So I'd really encourage you to check out the link and if this is something you're struggling with, I really like working with families. Um, so you can always come visit me in my office in Louisville or you're welcome to drop me a line, or send me a message or call me. But I would start with Ellen Satter's work because it really is a fantastic approach. Let me know if you have questions.